What's up guys? In today's tutorial we're going to be talking all about counter hits. So what is a counter hit? A counter hit is if you hit the opponent out of the startup of one of their attacks. So like right there, you see it says counter hit on screen. And these offer a few benefits. Uh, for one thing, they do extra damage. You can see the damage scaling is at 120%, whereas normally it's just at 100 for the first attack. Um, and some of them, some of your moves will have extra effects if they're a counter hit. So like Leo quarter circle forward one, normally it just looks like that. But um, if it's a counter hit, uh, then it crumples and you can get a combo off it. So what I did to set that up is if you press all four buttons at once, you do a key charge and you see your hands glow. And then your next attack is going to be a counter hit if you have key charge up. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it in a real match because you actually can't block during key charge. I was holding back for those first two hits and I got hit anyway. Uh, so you can't block during key charge, so I wouldn't do it in a real match, but it is good for, you know, practicing counter hit stuff in training mode. Or, you know, you can go in here, turn counter hits on, now every hit is going to be a counter hit. So every character is going to have a few attacks that you can combo off of on counter hits. So find out what they are for your character and learn some combos off them. Like Leo has quarter circle forward one. She also has standing four. This is also called a magic four. A lot of characters have this, this kind of cross kick. Uh, the reason it's magic is because if it's a counter hit, it launches, which is pretty handy. Plus they're safe on block, so these are generally pretty good moves. Although since it's a high, it can be ducked. Um, so go into training mode, learn your counter hit combos, and learn how to hit confirm off them. So what I'm doing is I'm setting it to random counter hit. And now, some of the time, this is going to counter hit, and some of the time, it's not. So what I'm going to do is, if I see the counter hit, I'm going to do the follow-up combo, like that. If I don't see the counter hit, I'm not going to do it. So this is important because, obviously, if it's not a counter hit, it's not going to combo. So you don't want to do that move afterward. Uh, and the same thing for standing four. Let's get the hit confirmed for that. Yeah, not too hard there. So go in, learn your counter hits, get good at hit confirming them. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about when it's good to try to land a counter hit. Uh, for faster moves like standing four, pretty much any time you're at frame advantage is going to be a good time to go for this. Like uh, if you land one, two, if it hits, you're at plus frames, which means that if you stick out this standing four and they stick out an attack, they're going to get counter hit. You're going to interrupt them. But for slower moves like quarter circle forward one, this isn't really going to work. It's so slow that you're probably just going to get hit out of it. Uh, but there are other situations like if you get a knockdown, it can be good to go for. They might be pressing buttons while they get up and then you'll get a counter hit. Or like, you know, at neutral, you can use the long range of this move to maybe hit them out of a poke or something like that. Go for the combo if it counter hits. So... Again, guys, figure it out with your character. Uh, this is a pretty valuable technique for wringing out a little bit of damage extra that you wouldn't normally get from your combos, so I highly recommend giving it a try. Uh, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.